Today, we'll be learning about the exclusionary rule. It supports the Fourth Amendment because the Fourth Amendment protects citizens against unreasonable searches and seizures. By definition, the exclusionary rule is a law that prohibits the use of illegally obtained evidence in a criminal trial. Basically, this means that the only evidence that can be used against you is evidence that is obtained legally. It deters police from taking evidence without correct means. However, like most things, there are exceptions to it. The inevitable discovery rule is an exception permitting improperly obtained evidence to be admitted when it is apparent that the evidence would have eventually been discovered through other legal means. Another exception is the independent source doctrine. Basically, this allows evidence that was obtained illegally to be allowed at a trial if the evidence was later obtained by a separate person through legal activities. The good faith exception is an exception that allows evidence obtained by law enforcement or police officers who rely on a search warrant that they believe to be valid. The last exception is the attenuation doctrine, which is an exception that permits evidence improperly obtained to be allowed at trial if the connection between the evidence and the illegal means by which it was obtained is very remote. So now that we've learned about the exclusionary rule and what it is and all the exceptions to it, we'll learn about a hypothetical situation that involves the exclusionary rule. Say, for example, police do an illegal search of Sam's home and they discover stolen goods. On the computer, they see that there is an order for a newspaper ad that says call 555-555 for cheap car parts. They take the information that was already typed in the computer and it leads them to find out more information about Sam and gives them more evidence against him. Because the ad was never run and they illegally searched the home, the evidence will be excluded.